in-home services for seniors, also known as options, helps with day-to-day -day things that older adults need to stay safe and healthy in their own home. Jennifer Edwards will tell you more about our services. Hello, my name is Jennifer Edwards. I'm the supervisor in the Options program at GCAC. Options is a program for individuals who are age 60 and older who are in need of in-home services in order to remain living independently in their homes. Um, it is for Pennsylvania residents and individuals who are U.S. citizens or lawful permanent residents. The options program is offered all across the state of Pennsylvania through each area agency on aging. The program is funded through the aging block grant and those funds come from the Pennsylvania lottery. Some of the services that are currently offered through the options program and this information is subject to change. So as of this recording, February 15th, 2023, um, these are the services that we currently offer, care management, so that's access to having a care manager who's in regular, regular contact with the individual, in-home meals, also known as home delivered meals, personal care service, which is assistance with bathing, adult day service, which is adult daycare, home health services, specifically medication setup, so having a nurse come in and um, set your medications once a week or once every other week. We do look at other available options as well um, for medication setup, like if the pharmacy can do the bubble packs or if there might be a family member available to assist the individual with setting up their medications. Medical equipment, supplies, and assistive adaptive devices, so things like incontinence products, nutritional supplements, equipment like shower chairs or grab bars. We do have to have a physician script for any of those items, and we also get an insurance denial, so we will um, ask we will go through the insurance and see if that's something that they will cover first before our program would come in and cover those costs. And last, a personal emergency response system, which we refer to as a PERS, so that would be the, a medical alert button. So I've coded these services as required services. Those are the service services that we are required by our funding source to offer. And the last three are our optional services. So those are the ones that are really subject to change. But as of right now, those are the ones that we are able to offer. There is a monthly cap to the amount we can spend on services, and that's $765. And care management and meals do not count toward that cap. So an individual may receive a combination of services not to exceed that amount. Currently, the program, all new services are on a waiting list. So that's just something to keep in mind um, for the time being. For options, we do look very closely at monthly income as well as available financial resources that the individual may have. We um, will need proof of an individual's income and their spouse if they do have one. We look at the gross income that they receive in a month, either the individual or the individual and their spouse. We're able to take a flat 30% deduction off of that income and we compare it to this scale. And um, depending on where they fall, they may pay 0% of the cost of their services or 10, 20, going all the way up to 100%. Um, and that's something that, that we'll figure out and let the individual know if they would have um, any cost sharing responsibility for those services. I will say that the vast majority of the individuals enrolled in the program pay 0% of the cost for their services. So where to start if you or, or someone in your family are interested 
in option services or in need of option services, you're going to call the GCAC aging intake line at extension 400 and request to make an options referral. They'll ask for some basic demographic information, name, phone number, address, and um, talk a little bit about their needs. And after um, the referral is made, and also Social Security and date of birth, so please make sure you have that information if you're calling to make a referral on behalf of someone else. Um, so once that referral is put in, it will be assigned to a care manager who will reach out um, and schedule a time to complete a comprehensive assessment called a needs assessment tool. From after, once the assessment is completed, the care manager will develop a care plan with the individual talking to them about specific services that they're in need of. Um, they'll come and do a home visit with the individual, get income verification documents, have them sign some paperwork, and get them enrolled into the program. Um, in this case, like I mentioned, we will be putting individuals on the waiting list, but those are the first steps. Um, to getting those in-home services. So please reach out if you have any questions at all and um, our GCAC Aging Intake will be happy to walk you through that process. Thank you very much.